what is going on guys we are back with another video it's like 95 degrees here in texas today so i'm going to keep this one kind of short today we're going over my current tripod setup because i'm thinking about um changing some things but before i do i want to talk about this setup how i've used it how i've abused it the past three four years and how this might be uh, a good beginner setup for most hog hunters, uh, coyote, you know, maybe introduction to shooting type things, if that makes sense, you know, introducing kids, stuff like that. But uh, the main purpose is gonna be for pigs. So this setup right here is the Kaufjager Reaper Grip, not the rail, the Reaper Grip, and the Slick Tripods uh, 700 AMT. This setup is gonna run you about $400 with the tripod, and the grip this is about as entry level as you can get for a gripping tripod not just the primo style shooting sticks does that make sense so this this is about that entry level for a grip and a tripod it's going to run you about 400 dollars. you can get this right now at thirdcoasttermal.com uh, i do believe he has both in stock you know if you want to hit you want to hit it up it's going to be linked in the description below uh, you can probably find it on Amazon. I, that's who you want to shop with. That'll be linked below as well. But this is going to run you about $389, $399. Maybe there's a deal. Maybe there's not. To start, a couple of things that uh, could pose a problem or I don't necessarily like about this grip is that it's a little bit longer to set up than a, let's just say, the Reaper rail right and it's gonna weigh a little bit more because you have you're gripping right so you're gonna have a little bit more metal on there so if weight is a big issue for you then you know this regular tripod and then a reaper rail might not be ideal if you're going backcountry hunting if you're backpacking do anything like that maybe a carbon fiber tripod and then something that maybe attaches directly to the rail via the arc swiss type mount uh, a Picatinny mount, something like that might be a better option for you. Uh, kind of in the negative side, it's going to be a little bit heavier. And depending on what gun you have, uh, a lever action gun probably not going to get squeezed down by the Reaper grip unless you put some sort of spacer in there. I do believe Coffee Eager has um, like a spacer piece that goes on these little three little teeth right here. Uh, if they have that, I'll throw it up somewhere over here in, in the frame. That being said, if you have a really skinny handguard up front, like this is the Trilock rail from Triarc Systems. Uh, I had a Geisley rail on this AR before this and I have a Geisley rail on my other gun that I hunt with and it, it bites down perfectly. But on this setup right here, it's full clamp. There's still a little bit of movement in here. It's not bad. It still gets the job 100% done. Um, I'll show you how I carry the tripod in a minute when I'm hunting and I'll show you where that might be able to uh, play a factor into your hunt. Uh, might not, just it's gonna depend on how you deploy this whole system. So negative, another negative cost, still gonna run you about 400 bucks. Uh, with these tripods, you know, we toss them in the back of the truck, back of the Can-Am, drive to wherever we're going. We throw them around, we beat them up. Uh, this, this tripod has blood on its legs um, pig turd, anything, anything you can think of. It's been in the mud. It's been thrown. I mean, I haven't ran it over yet. So other than that, uh, it's held up just about anything I put it through. So that's really good. Some of the positives. It's only four hundred dollars. You could spend a thousand dollars on a uh, what's the Vortex Radian and be a thousand dollars out the gate like that. Just a tripod. If you're going to go for a carbon fiber setup, you know, some super slick, nice top of the line you know that's not something you're going to want to beat up or anything like that so you know four hundred dollars depending on what your budget is how hard you want to hunt you know this is it might be a, a good price for you You might not think four hundred dollars is a bad is a bad price something else with the reaper grip as a positive is you can throw anything that can fit in here that's wide enough whether it's a bolt gun an ar um, a shotgun, you know, depending on what shotgun you have, you can pretty much put anything in here and it'll bite down on it. Granted, it's wide enough. 
So that's another plus. You don't have to permanently attach you know, anything to the bottom of your rails. You don't have to have the arc Swiss or you know, a Picatinny or anything like that up underneath. If that's not something you want to do, if you don't want to put that on, your, on a bolt gun that you have, you know, say you have a nice woodstock you know, bolt gun, you want to be able to run a tripod on it or something like that, and you don't want to drill into the bottom, you know, whatever you can think of, you know, this might be a better option for somebody shooting like that. This specific Reaper grip from Kopf Jaeger is the articulating one. I'm gonna have to WD-40 that, but this one is the articulating one. You can get the one that doesn't articulate. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, I don't recommend it because whenever we're out and we're hunting and we shoot, bang, 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 pretty much everybody that I hunt with, as soon as the shooting stops, we unlock it and we point our guns down. That's just a safety thing. It's something we all do. It's kind of second nature. I mean, if you want to, you can point it straight up in the air, but it's just easier, muzzle down, everybody's guns are down. Um, you know, if you're two kinds of cool, you know, you want cool pictures for the gram, you know, most people with their tripods do something like this. So that's something else to take into consideration. Um, I'm not gonna go too into the specifics of the functionality, you know, of, you know, raising and lowering and, you know, untightening and going up and down, stuff like that. If you want like a function test on this, you, I'm sure Slick has some sort of video about that. This is just mainly why I chose this setup, why I've been rocking it, and why I might switch in the future. When it comes to shooting pigs at night, there's a couple of things to consider, and one of those is deploying yourself and your gun as quickly as you can if that makes sense so getting out quiet efficiently and effectively and then getting as close as you can to the pigs and stability right and that's what this setup right here is going to give you it's going to give you some stability that you're not going to get just freehand shooting i know plenty of guys who are plenty good shots just freehand shooting and could probably get the job done but why not use some sort of tripod setup and kill an extra five pigs out of a group? You know what I mean? People are always dogging on tripods, like, oh, let's see you shoot offhand, stuff like that. I see the comments everywhere. Anthony gets them all the time. It's just asinine is what it is. And if you kill as many pigs as me and some of my buddies, a tripod is 100% the only way to do it unless you just accidentally don't have your tripod and you have to shoot at some pigs. Tripods are damn near guaranteeing you the ability to kill more pigs. So I'm gonna go over a couple things real quick on how I use and how I deploy this setup. So what I do is I just let it hang just like this. And I mean, it, guys, it does not get much easier than this. Um, this isn't a padded sling. Uh, I just grabbed this one out of the truck, not my padded one, but I could walk two miles like this, stocking up on pigs, and be perfectly fine when I get there, right? When I start to get close, which uh, I'll put some footage up right now, whenever I start to get close, I go ahead and level my gun out, and I start walking unless I'm running some sort of um, thermals on my helmet for good detection, right? Or something that I can articulate, you know, toss the right side up so that if the guns, or if the, if the pigs run, I can set the gun down, get on it, and start hammering the pigs. But this is, this is what I do. Whenever the, you know, say we get within 100 yards of the pigs, right? We're starting to get, you know, twig breaking, phone ringing, you know close to where if, you know we fuck up then the pigs are gonna run I'm gonna start walking like this looking at the pigs through my scope and this kind of goes back to the initial setup I don't set this tripod up the typical height I take it down about four inches right and I'll show you this too I get a little bit wider of a stance and that that's comfortable for me and that's what I use but I do that so I'm able to pick the gun up and I can walk staring at the pigs. And if they run, 
set it down, start shooting. So I don't, I've never heard anybody talk about their tripod like that. You know, that's just kind of one of my little things that I do. I mean, I don't mind the whole standing completely upright shooting on a tripod. That's cool. But, you know, unless you have, like I said, maybe a single um, PVS-14 on the left or some, you know, dual somethings, PVS-31s that you can, you know, flip a side up or, you know, maybe you're rocking dual eye rays or something. I don't know that you can articulate a side up out of the way and you can still scan and just walk up. I mean, even so, I would have to swing my gun up and set it down. But whenever I'm walking just like this, I can walk, watch the pigs. And then as soon as they move or we're good to go, set her down, it's quiet. And I'm not accidentally clanging people because this happens all the time <laughs> because nobody else does this, right? I walk and I have to typically position myself away from people enough that I don't just swing and hit them with my tripod. And I do it sometimes but it's typically not me hitting them, it's them walking into it. And whenever your gun hits my tripod um, and it clangs, you know, that can scare off pigs and that's unfortunate. And that just comes with me running my tripod a little bit differently than most people run it, people not being used to it. Whenever I'm stocking up on pigs, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna walk up, I'm gonna set the gun down, I'm gonna start shooting. But I want you to see how quickly I can start shooting at you know a group of pigs that decides to move while I'm walking up towards them as opposed to the other way so like I said you can quickly deploy from walking and scanning with your gun coming up. Now, like I said, this isn't something that you're gonna do from a thousand yards out. This is like 100 and in maybe that, you, that I'm gonna set the gun up like this and start walking, right? Now, the other way, if I'm gonna come all the way from down here and I'm walking, and you know, a lot of times when we hunt, it's bright enough outside that we can see the pigs with our naked eye, especially with a full moon or something. If I'm walking like this and the pigs start running, by the time I notice it, I gotta pick my gun up. We'll just go full speed. Now you see what I mean, how quickly I can deploy from just like walking, setting down, shooting, as opposed to walking, setting the gun up, setting it down, and then going through the same motion that I would have done. It's just with the added step. You can see the difference. Somewhere in there, I don't know where, my memory card filled up after my little representation of how I carry uh, this gun and this tripod and how I'm using it. So I don't even know what all I've said and is not filmed right now. So that absolutely sucks. But we're just gonna go ahead and conclude this video. Guys, get a tripod, get something, be more stable when you shoot. Don't always rely on walking up to a fence post or something like that when you're hunting. Um, I don't care if you get a Primos Mono buy or tripod, I don't care. I don't care if you get a Bog Pod, I guess I'll link that down in the description too. I don't care if you get a Hog Saddle, depending on your budget. I don't care if you get a Vortex Radian $1,000 tripod with um, a $500 ball head or something. I don't know, I don't care. A tripod's gonna help you kill more pigs. It's gonna help you kill more coyotes. This is what I use. These are the people that I support. Let me know in the comments if you want to see comparisons of other videos, my other videos, other tripods. My buddy Philip did a full review, comprehensive nugget night vision tripod uh, review on his channel. That'll be linked in the description if you all wanna check out uh, his tripod. I think that one's $400 for just the tripod, not the grip. So that kind of goes into that. You're paying for carbon fiber, you're getting a nice tripod, then you also have to get the grip. This is 400 bucks for the grip and the tripod. So that's just gonna be a factor that plays into all this stuff. Uh, it's a little cooler now, considering the sun's behind some, uh, behind some clouds, but I'm sweating my ass off right now, guys. It's like 95 degrees here in Texas. Uh, it's cooling off. 
pig hunting is going to slow down on the channel a little bit because once deer season comes around, people don't really like you hunting pigs. I'll be doing some trapping um, in the next next week, actually, something like that. So hopefully you trap some pigs. Be looking forward to that video. As always, waterfowl hunts. Got some new mods coming for the Colorado. Uh, got some brackets that I got to make. So if y'all are here for any of the Colorado stuff, uh, stay tuned for that as well. I'll be doing a full build walk around once I get the next piece on it. The next piece on it. And then maybe the next upgrade too. I don't know. But guys, like I said, all these things will be linked in the description. Thank y'all for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Get a tripod. Get stable. Let her rip.